Hey guys, my name is Jess. Today is the 15th of April and you're tuned in to GameSpot News. Halo 5's new Warzone Firefight mode is in beta testing and you can play it right now. Just like the firefight mode we've come to expect in Halo, teams of players will take on waves of tougher and tougher enemies and also complete objectives across five rounds. Only in Warzone Firefight, these matches will play out on Warzone maps and will apparently feature the most on-screen enemies in Halo history. The beta is set to run from today up until the 18th of April, and if you already own the game, no further download is required. This is an in-development version of Warzone Firefight, so some technical issues are to be expected. 343 Industries are hoping to gather feedback from the beta to make the final version better when it officially arrives sometime this summer. Street Fighter V developer Capcom is hopefully getting serious about dealing with rage quitters in the game. A post on the official Street Fighter Twitter account explained that Capcom planned to roll out a system to deal with rage quitters in its April update, and more details are on their way soon. The current issue is that there is no penalty system in place to punish players who quit out of games early. Capcom have tried to monitor players abusing the system and encourage player reporting, but the long-term plan is to find a permanent solution. Capcom have said, moving forward we will be making a sweep each week based on accounts in our system that have abnormally high disconnect rates, particularly at the end of the match, and will reset their league points. The box art for The Witcher 3's next expansion, Blood and Wine, has been revealed. Geralt is looking dashing as always with a sword and wine goblet in hand while a harpy looms over him. A similar image posted on Neogaf, which is reportedly from a retailer in Jakarta, suggests the content will be sold in stores as a download code, which will give you access to the DLC and two Gwent decks. No official release date has been announced for Blood and Wine, but a June 7 release date was previously reported, before being dismissed by developer Set of Project Red. The DLC will take place in a new region called Tucson, where inevitably shit is probably about to go down. And said a project have previously said that the size of Blood and Wine, when added to the Hearts of Stone DLC, will make a game that's as big as The Witcher 2. Let me know down in that comment section if you'll be playing Blood and Wine and head to GameSpot where we've got stories on Deadpool 2 and more Avatar sequels. That is everything I have for you today, but do let me know what mattered to you and join me again tomorrow for the five biggest stories of the entire week. I'll see you then.